so hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to talk about some uh, Godo news and in this video we will see what things are adding to the Godo and which version is launched and what is the beautiful news of the Godo community so today we are going to see that the Godo is also supporting block coding for now what if you if you want to know about what is block coding so block coding is same as scratch so let me show you so basically this is something like block coding where you just use specific blocks to do something specific and these block coding is done by endless os foundation and they actually made a plugin for godot that support the block coding for the godot uh, godot engine okay so in this uh, video we will see what things are adding to Godot and as you know you can see that block coding for Godot it is a powerful tool as you know Godot is a powerful tool and they are providing this tool or the plugin so we can access the Godot engine more uh, efficiently and easy way so basically block coding is for those who just don't know how to use coding or they are new to coding so block coding will help them understand or there are some scratch coders also so block coding also helps those who just want to prototype a game or just make a game or for the jams I don't know if it is uh, it it will enhance the performance as the regular coding but let's see what are the things they have written so block coding is something like you use blocks to create some code right so they also wrote here professional game development almost requires writing code so as an alternative block coding music makes it it is for beginners to dive into the coding concepts so they actually made this uh, block coding thing here now the most important part here is which is print generate script so this thing is a life changer this thing can change anyone any particular specific uh, problem so basically what happens when we create a whole game Godot provides that you can write half of the code in different language and half of the code in different languages so this also a part of that uh, feature so where you can just create some basic elements through this block coding uh, plugin so that is also a life changer that will help and save time and it also improves debugging uh, so it will be a much faster way to use the program and uh, as you can see it's an article I will just give you link in the description and this is the video where they show the demo of the block coding so you can just see it I will also make a demo of block coding so you just need to subscribe click on the subscribe button to follow me and you will get the tutorial later okay so in in the next news is the Godot 3.6 beta 2 is released so you need to uh, you need to be happy because some uh, people said that Godot 3.5 is the last version of Godot because that was the stable release of Godot 3.5 and now they released Godot 3.6 beta 2 it is a very important version for Godot 3 users like me because uh, as you know there are some features in Godot 3 that are that are very very useful like the tile map of the the classic tile map and classic tile set and uh, there are a ton of features like light 2d node and so that is the thing that they also enhanced here so basically you can just see on the what's new section and you can see that they also uh, fixes the bugs and codes codes and you can see that they fix the grid container node and they also added some different things and they also enhance the Android porting here right when you just port your game to Android uh, they also increase the sub settings and stuff so you can read all the things here and you can see they also fix some rendering issues and so yeah documentation is updated here so you can download also here so you can easily download it and it's a pretty cool thing to go to 3.5 or 3.6 to go further so there that's all for today we will meet you in the next video thanks for watching hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the 
bell icon.